time though for the Super 1600 final. Stephen Bossard and Andrea Duborg on the front row. Very, very popular front row, as you would imagine here in France. Nikita Misulia and Sergei Zagimenov on the second row. And on the back row, Linneman and Liebner. That's a very, very healthy lead indeed over this man, Nikita Misulia, in the orange Fabia. Away from the line though, Bossard hooked it up really well. Nikita Misula looks like he might have lost out to Zakimenov down to turn one. Zakimenov shuts the door on him, but Bossard is leading. Oh, Zakimenov brutal into the side there of Duborg. Bossard's away, Duborg manages to get in second place. Zakimenov into third. Yeah, very aggressive into the first corner. Uh, he had a good start, but uh, yeah, and he tried to go on the inside of Duborg, but couldn't make it. So the two French Cleos are first. So Linneman's gone straight to the joke lap. Eric, of course, you were in this final last year, or you certainly competing in Super 1600 yeah. last year with your C2. Like, you're missing it this weekend, I know. Yeah, of course. I really miss this. Uh, especially this class, actually, because this category. Uh, because they're really fun to drive. And circuits like this, where you have uh, quite high speed uh, every, uh, oh, all over the track, uh, these cars are really great to drive. I know you were talking to me about the sequence of corners, weren't you? From the last corner round to the straight, it's just gear, gear, gear with yeah. a tiny bit of braking. And Full throttle for half of the track. So. Brilliant fun, yeah. brilliant fun. And fantastic racing from Super 600 as always. Zaki Menov and Miss Yulia have gone to the Joker together. Yeah, they're, they're teammates, but they're still fighting for the championship. So, uh, yeah, but maybe a mistake from Miss Yulia, But They're going to merge, and they've lost out there. Liebner. Liebner hasn't done the joker, but they're caught behind him now. They're going to lose time. Miss Yulia with a look up the inside. Miss Yulia's gone up the inside of Zaki Menov. That's the second place championship man for the championship leader. Fantastic move by Nikita. Yeah, he dived on the inside in the last corner. Uh, great move and he got by, but... Zaki Menov doesn't look like he's that, that happy, does he? To no. Right, Zaki Menov right behind. Oh, Zaki Menov in the back of Miss Yulia. Miss Yulia's on the lock stops. Zaki Menov hits him again. He hits him again. Are you warning for that, Eric, or not? Yeah, probably. Uh, it will be interesting to see what the steer think about. They're having their own little oh, Russian battle. Bossard and Deborg, sorry, Eric. Bossard and Deborg, so Deborg has popped out in front of Bossard. On the right-hand side, you can see them preparing the cars for the Supercar final. We're looking at a train of Super 1600 cars coming past our commentary position. Deborg in front of Bossard. Deborg still has to do his joker lap, so Bossard is in the... Uh, the best seat in the house, basically, to take the win on this one. Miss Yulia in third. Yeah, he's got a little gap now to second man over. Maybe that's good for him. Through the joker lap now for Duborg. So Bossard is going to take the lead here, I'm sure, around the outside. Look at the lead he's got. Fantastic jobs. It's all about whether Duborg can really please the French crowd and get out in front of Miss Yulia. He does. They break into applause immediately. It's Bossard leading from Duborg with two laps to go. Miss Yulia is right behind Duborg, though. They're cheering them on as they come past the start finish line. Brilliant job with French drivers in first and second place ahead of the championship regulars. Yeah, that's quite normal here in France, especially in Super 600. They have a very strong match in the championship, so the French drivers, uh, it's normally in the final in the European rounds also. And, and that's why Nitish was so proud to win here last year, I guess, yeah. because it's such a hard event to win. Bossard sweeps around that right-hander. He's so far out in front. He's, he's a real Super 1600 specialist, Eric. Yeah, he's been doing Super 1600 in France for a lot of years. Uh, and he's won the European round before. Uh, so, yeah. The battle then is for second place. Duborg is in it at the minute. And the man in the orange, Fabia, Nikita Misulia, Russian driver, won a larger challenge, I think it was, last year, which got him a one-off drive in the World Touring Car Championship this year. Came and joined Rallycross, and to be honest, it's been a bit of a revelation. We're looking at Ulrich Linneman out of our commentary window, who is uh, one of the championship front runners in fourth place at the minute, but he's got a puncture. Oh, Miss Yulia all over the back of Deborg, but it's through the final two corners. He's not going to get it done. Through the left and then the right. Stephen Bossard is going to take this one, and he's going to set the French crowd off. Oh, Miss Yulia up the inside of Deborg, contact. Fireworks go off for Bossard as he went to Miss Yulia. The French crowd, I think, are very, very pleased for the Bossard win. <laughs> He's on the roof. Bossard is on the roof. Lapping up a massive home crowd here. Uh, Duborg waves to the crowd as well, acknowledges the fantastic support the French drivers have had here all weekend. Here's the result. Bossard takes the win from Miss Yulia and Duborg. Zaki Menov in fourth, Libna and Linneman in sixth with that puncture.